Hello and welcome to this week's Glass Tire Top 5. It is the week of March 1st, 2018. I'm Brandon Zeck. And I'm Kaneem Smith. And we're here on the Menil campus. We are. And we are. you work at the Menil Bookstore. I do. I'm a bookstore associate. And although officially the Menil collection is off view for several months until the fall, we invite visitors from all over, please come to the Menil collection. Our bookstore is open, regular hours, um, Cy Twombly Gallery, the Byzantine Fresco Gallery, the Richmond Hall, Dan Flavin installations, and, and soon, very soon, the Menil Drawing Center as well. So it'll be uh, plenty to see. There are a lot of events coming up. The first one being over at the Cy Twombly Gallery, Mary Jack Jacobus talking about reading Cy Twombly. That's going to be happening this week. So there's a lot of events coming up that to keep Menil patrons and Menil enthusiasts coming to the Menil. Number five this week is Jessica Nincy, the Antiquities Annex. And I'm really excited about her because what she's done here is she's taken, I'm assuming some of her favorite little wonderful little objects from the Antiquities collection at the Menil and recreated them. So it's almost as if, although the galleries are temporarily not on view, you can still see elements of the Menil at this HCC gallery southeast. Just think of the Cycladic figures yes. and all of the things in the, in the Antiquities collection that you love. They've just been temporarily mm -hmm. moved or temporarily relocated. relocated. Number four this week is the Nasher Prize Dialogues Sculpture and History. And that's happening on March 6th. Uh, so it's a talk, it's a panel lecture. Uh, the panelists are Alfredo Yar, uh, Jill McGeed, Paul Ramirez Jonas, who actually we were talking about recently had a show at the Contemporary Arts Museum Houston. Yes. And then also Lauren Woods, who's yes. currently in Dallas. And the panel uh, is going to be moderated by the art critic Ben Davis, which is really great. This is a really star-studded panel. And, you know, the it natural is. always does a really good job at mm. this. Uh, and this is actually in a series of programs that's based around the Nasher Prize, which this year was th awarded to Theaster Gates. Yes. Number three is Light Charmer, Neon and Plasma in Action at the Houston Center for Contemporary Craft. I mean, who it's doesn't, a, who doesn't enjoy neon? I'm sorry. It's neon and liquid plasma flowing through tubes of glass. It's so mesmerizing. It you know, is. all of the pieces, it so is. many of the pieces because... You know, if you're going to have light, why have a stationary light? Have it be moving, <laughs> have it be blinking. Absolutely. You know, these things are signs, essentially, or at least that was their first function. So have fun with it. Make it not so serious. And these pieces, or at least the majority of them, do exactly that. that. Big interactive quality element to the show. It's so weird to walk into a completely darkened gallery <laughs> yes. and then to have the only light sources in the gallery be all these neon pieces. It was great. Number two this week is a show called Black Borders, Artists of Color, Reframing Culture. Uh, it's at Fort Worth Contemporary Arts at TCU. It's curated and put together by Christopher Blay, who in the fall of 2017 was a writer in residence at TCU. Oh, in this fantastic. show. Yeah, and this show's kind of a continuation of uh, the issues and the project that he was doing at that time. Mm -hmm. So it's a show of three artists, uh, Erica De Freitas, Amir George, and Anansi Nobody. The three artists address themes of racism and what it's like to be a black person in America, but much more specifically, what it's like to be a black or an African-American artist. Because, you know, curators or people when viewing art made by African-American artists tend to categorize it in some way, shape, or form. And Oh, absolutely. If you don't fit into that category, they don't know what to do with you. Uh, I can relate to that. <laughs> Our number one pick, Four Texans, The Next Chapter. It's opening today at the McNay Museum. The artists in the show, Xavier Gilmore, Rafael Gutierrez, Calvin Presley, and Deborah Roberts. And, you know, we know most of these names. Yeah, uh, everyone we do. except Deborah Roberts is San Antonio based. Deborah is in Austin. We've both seen Deborah Roberts' work. Yes, we have. And I've seen it at Art Palace, mm -hmm. and you've seen it even several times since then. She's blowing up. Rafael Gutierrez has shown up quite a bit. Uh, he's shown in Saladillas recently in San Antonio. Um, and we've actually been doing a little video series chronicling him getting Absolutely. ready for the show. Absolutely. You must see it on Glass Tire. It's called A Stack of Black Cats. And just the name alone drew me to want to check out the video, but the video is really 
it's really well done. It's Gutierrez speaking in his own words about his project, about how he grew up, about how he deals with things of racism, um, the black body, being an Afro-Latino, and all kinds of themes kind of run through the work. That's the list? That is the list. What are you doing this weekend? I know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go see some arts. <laughs> go see some art. 